This is a big one. We built the best CSS grid builder and it's available for Divi 5 today. It's better than Elementor, it's better than Bricks, and whether you want to master the grid or simply use Divi's new grid templates, you will love this update. Let me show you how it works. First, if you have never heard of CSS Grid and have no desire to learn the ins and outs of grid layouts, don't worry, you don't need to. Enjoy the new pre-built grid templates. The beauty of using grid templates is that the grid is controlled at the container level, and as you add new items, they conform to the grid automatically. It's much more intuitive and unlocks a new variety of designs. Divi has grid templates for every situation, and applying them to existing content is easy. If you are a seasoned CSS Grid expert, Divi's Grid options don't hold you back. You can get straight to the point, manually define your column and row grid templates, and create varied grid layouts using offset editing, which I will touch on later. If you are somewhere in between, then Divi 5's Grid Builder really shines. We transformed CSS grid parameters into settings to create vertical and horizontal grids, customized column and row dimensions, grid direction, element alignment and justification, and more. Additionally, the sizing option group includes new column and row options that allow you to adjust an individual grid items with height and position in the grid. One of Divi 5's grid builder's most unique aspects is the offset editor, which you can use to create repeating, non-symmetrical grid patterns at the container level. Let me slow down a bit and give you a real-world example. I created this blog template using Divi 5's loop builder. Each column is a loop item filled with dynamic content. When I enable the grid layout style on the parent's container, the columns automatically conform to the grid. I can adjust the number of columns, enter custom column or row patterns, change the gap sizes, and do many other things. In addition, I can use the offset editor to apply rules to specific items in the grid. Instead of a standard column pattern that repeats on each row, I can create offset patterns. For example, having every fourth item span two columns, starting at the second and third item. These offset patterns give Divi 5's pre-built row templates so much variety. CSS Grid for Divi 5 is available today and is one of many features coming to Divi this year. We are pushing forward incredibly quickly, launching 19 new features in the past seven months. This is the promise of Divi 5's new architecture. 2025 is the year of Divi 5. It's time for Divi to make its comeback. You can follow along as we progress through the final release of Divi 5 and beyond with updates every two weeks. You can use Divi 5 now to build new websites or wait until we add more features, whatever works best for you. We want you to try it, and if you love it, use it. When everyone loves it, we'll make it official. In case you missed it, we recently released custom attributes for Divi 5, which allows you to add any attribute such as alt, title, rel, and area label to elements and sub-elements. Divi has had support for specific attributes such as class and ID, but now you can add any attribute to any element. This is especially important for accessibility, allowing you to, for example, add alt text to images and roles and labels to non-semantic elements, like an icon-based button. There's a link in the video description to learn more. Thanks for watching, and before you go, I have one favor to ask. If you're here for the Divi comeback, let us know by liking this video. It means a lot to see you cheering Divi on, and it's essential to feed the algorithm and spread the word. Don't forget to follow and subscribe so you never miss an update, and I'll see you soon for another Divi 5 feature announcement, which I promise is right around the corner.